Now that you've learned about the ampere and the coulomb as units of measurement, we can ask a really straightforward question. How many electrons would you have to remove from an object for it to have a net charge of positive one coulomb? So keep in mind, the charge of one electron is the same thing as negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. Well, I guess negative 1 E. So positive 1 E is positive 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. You generally don't get a charge of positive 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs by adding a proton because it's very hard to transfer protons from one object to another due to the fact that they're bound in the nucleus. So you create a positive uh, fundamental charge by removing one electron. So that's the nature of this question. How many electrons would have to be removed until you get a charge of positive one? So if you removed two electrons, there'd be a charge of 3.2 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. 10 electrons. And that would lead to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 18th coulombs. A million electrons, we'll call that 10 to the 6th. That would lead to a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 13th coulombs. Anyway, the question is, x number of electrons would be equal to 1 coulomb. So we can make a ratio out of these two statements. x electrons is to 1 coulomb as 1 electron is to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So we can cancel out electrons on both sides of the equation, we can cancel out coulombs, and we're basically left with the answer to our question. The number of electrons as represented by x is nothing more than the inverse of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th. So if you grab your calculator and see what that leads to, you find that x is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the 18th. Okay, we can think of that as 6.25 times 10 to the 9th times 10 to the 9th. So we would call this 6.25 billion billion. Point being, it's a very large number of electrons, and it's not typical that you ever transfer that many electrons, at least not terribly easily. So a coulomb of charge turns out to be a very large amount of charge relatively. So we often will talk about smaller amounts of charge. You might see mc for millicoulomb, meaning 10 to the negative third coulombs, which would be the result of transferring 6.25 times 10 to the 15th electrons as opposed to 6.25 times 10 to the 18th. You might even see uh, the Greek letter mu in front of the C for microcoulombs. Okay, so this would be 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, or in other words, 6.25 times 10 to the 12th electrons, and on and on we go. Nanocoulombs, and I'll leave it up to you to figure out what we mean when we're talking about nanocoulombs. So millicoulombs, microcoulombs, and nanocoulombs will be referenced uh, often in this unit of study.